Hello, hello everyone. Uh, finally doing another video after a little while. And uh, I thought that I would make a video on how to get uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Um, and I think this might possibly work for the other games. But um, getting them to work with mods. Um, let me think. So... I uh, recently tried to play the game with, it. I think besides the uh, Zone Reclamation Project mod, it won't work. It'll just crash. And um, I did some Googling and found a way to fix that crashing. Let me see if I could find my uh, hard drive here. Backups, mod stalker, SOC. So I recently played with uh, Doom's merge mod, Anon Edition, or Preacher Edition, which is a super complete version of it. Um, and I think before I did this fix, it would crash. And I found a post on Reddit about some commands to run, and I simply just put it into a bash file a script that you could just simply run. Um, I'm currently on Arco Linux, or well, basically Arch Linux, and um, if you use the script, it would you'd probably have to edit the file to make it find where your game is installed, because it might be different from how mine is but um let's see just gonna paste the mod over here okay I'm gonna have to uh, open our browse files and then I will then have to open my terminal emulator Switch to the desktop, find the files, and then I have 7-zip extractor installed, so I will run the command 7z, then a space, then an x, then another space, and then, if I could select it, and then uh, hit control shift c to copy the file name and control shift v to paste it. And then it will extract the game data folder and the optional recommended um, folders from the zip file. Um, and let's see. I don't know. Maybe this could possibly be fixed with uh, uh, Glorious Egg's uh, version of Proton. He seems to just be doing some freaking wonders with uh, his version of Proton. Um, so I'm not sure if it'll still crash. Uh, I guess while this is extracting, I can test run stock, or hopefully I don't overload the computer too much. Um, okay, it's running with Proton. Dur -ba -dur -ba -dur. Um, not sure really how this is going to affect my uh, recording with extracting and running a game. But hopefully it doesn't screw up the FPS any. Um, and uh, hopefully it actually captures the uh, gameplay. If anything, I will change it to windowed mode. And this is probably draining me out possibly, so I will turn the music off. I will turn off full screen, go to 720p, and shazam, there we go. Close that. Um, so yeah, currently... The mod loads, f or not the mod, the game loads fine. Okay, so it looks like the uh, mod is finished extracting. And random thing is even though turning on vertical sync, the FPS will still be crazy on Linux. I don't think it does that on Windows unless you have certain mods, at least that I can remember. So we got that extracted, so we will go we'll move the data folder, or the game data folder, to the... 
directory for stalker and then okay it's a user LTX file that will go in app data Ooh, um, paste one file overwrite and then if I would have to cancel let's see and if I would have to guess um, the game oops the game will probably crash so let's see what it does. It'll probably say like, you know, bug trap uh, XR core or something like that if I remember correctly. Um, if this works then I will. Um, let's see what it does. Oh, I remember it doing this and it crashing. Let's give it a second here. See what it does. If I have to, I'll um, just speed through this part until it actually does something. Uh, huh. Yeah, I think this was what the issue was. If it crashed, if it would either crash or do this. And it's just... A little tiny box not doing anything so um, I would have to load my system monitor and uh, find the exe to close it so X R 3 is it X R 3 oh, shoot is that what is X R 3 D A or something like that Shadow of Chernobyl, Proton, XR. Okay. So I think I need to close that one down. Okay, so yeah, that crashed it. Okay. So now what I will do is I will show you the code for the script, which honestly, it's just a no-brainer to make it. Um, so open file. And this is my folder for uh, just to say a random, or my folder for uh, my customized install of Arco Linux. So, so the stalker SOC crash fix. So it's, um, I just have its uh, CD to each directory until it finds the stalker shadow Chernobyl directory. And then uh, the game data folder and then it's find and there's a space between each one of these, so find, and then dash type, then F, then dash name, and then in parentheses, thumbs.db, and then dash exec, and then rm, then dash i, then two um, curly brackets, braces, or whatever they're called, and then uh, a... having a brain for it, but a slash and then a semicolon. So, um, so I will simply run that and I don't know why I closed the, uh, don't know why I closed the emulator, terminal emulator. So CD Arco ST Stalker CD IR uh, Oh, it's nine. So I'll run that, and then it removes the texture items thumb.db file, and then hit yes to remove, and then it, it does the thumbs.db file in a few different directories. So it looks like item, fx, and weapon, and then it uh. So it looks like it's only those three locations. Um, I think depending on the mod, if there's like more, if there are more thumb.db files, then it'll probably delete all of them. But then when we launch Stalker now, it, I believe it should work. Yep, and there it goes. Yeah, it, uh, it works. No problem. Um, so let me, uh, let me, uh, start a game to show you that it actually runs and I'm going to be having a 
batshit insane FPS because I got this on all low settings because my laptop is potato somewhat like a like a mid-range potato I guess you could say so um, let's just say name them that make them a master loaner and then I believe it puts I forget where it puts me but anywho near the military is that military something or other I forget but uh let's see should load pretty quick I'm on an SSD Yep, and there we go. It is running. It's uh, game's gonna heat up a little bit because uh, it's generating uh, the shader cache through Proton, and I need to inert zero. I think that's the command to get rid of. Uh, yep, gets rid of a uh, head uh, head bob. Uh, so yeah, it, um, yeah, everything works. Um, I would have to think it would work for the other Stalker games. I can test it, and um, if need, oh, I don't think I'd really maybe really have to make a video because it would basically be the same thing as Shadow of Chernobyl. You just would edit the file to point towards the game data folder in the um. Uh, game, game uh, clear sky directory and then same with call it per at um, but yeah so it's a super easy fix um, I will post the code in um, the description so you guys can just copy paste it and make it into a simple bash file looks like that uh, artifacts off limits but yeah um, bit of a really random rambly uh i guess tutorial video um but yeah hopefully it's helpful for anyone who wants to play the stalker games on um linux i would have to guess it should work for any linux version since it's a bash file it shouldn't matter um but yeah hopefully this uh, helped you and uh yeah thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you guys in the next video whenever i happen to upload them